14th, 3, 1, 4, which mm -hmm. means it's Pi Day. The Greek <laughs> letter is the symbol used in mathematics to represent the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, which is approximately <laughs> 3.14159265.35, and it you goes on heart. and on and on and on I for a trillion. I, I've used Pi <laughs> a lot in meteorology since, you know, the Earth is round. That makes one of so, us. Yeah. Well, we don't want to celebrate with math no, we today. Don't. We no. want to celebrate with a more fun Pi <laughs> spelled P-I-E. Always. Here to help us do that is Julie Hurley, owner of Out on a Limb Pie Company. Julie, thanks for being here today. Yes, thank thanks you. for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah, we're so excited to talk with you. Um, so you have, uh, well, she's brought some pies and for us here today. this one in particular we're smells here. very good. Freshly yes. baked. Freshly baked. Freshly. Right um, out of the oven, right? So yes. you've been in the business for uh, since 2019. Correct. You've been baking for a very long time. Um, tell us how you got started. Um, it's really pretty uh, organic in how it started. <laughs> it, it actually goes back to my childhood. I've always had an interest in food and working in the kitchen. Um, I'm grateful for the parents that I had yeah. because they both uh, were involved in the kitchen and taught me a lot of basic skills. Mm -hmm. um, I had other family members, grandmother, aunt. I was always alongside of them in the kitchen. Uh, it really started to take off a little more in high school uh, where my um, home economics teacher, Karen Anderson, uh, who is very skilled in pie making. She, she really instilled in me the basics and um, I picked up on it quickly uh, to the point where I, I won a pie baking contest Ooh. at Moline High School yes, and, uh, or That's placed, awesome. yeah. And, um, and so that was really the, the original birth of it. But as far as a business, it didn't come until I was in my young adult yeah. life um, right. where I just started making apple pies during the fall for uh, friends, family, gifts, things like that, uh, co-workers. Yeah. And then uh, pretty soon they started asking, hey, can I, can I order a pie from you? <laughs> you know, I, I'm not wanting it for free. Can I buy them? So I, I just started uh, doing just some here and, here and there, there, mainly yeah. at Thanksgiving. And um, I sort of abandoned the idea of making it into a business mm -hmm. um, until a long time later. And uh, sure. back in 2019, my dad actually approached me and said, hey, how about doing this now? And no. it, the timing just seemed to be right, and it fit then. It's yeah. never too late it's to not. start something up. It's so, not. you know, you mentioned your dad. He's obviously yes. a big part of this biz business yes. as well. Yes. I hear that he's called the, the cherry, cherry Pie Guy. guy. <laughs> so <laughs> talk more right. about your dad's involvement and just okay. kind of how this business is more of a sure. family affair. Well, both of my parents are very supportive, mm -hmm. uh, but I actually told my dad, hey, if I'm going to do this, you're going to be in the kitchen with me. <laughs> and he said, uh, he said, let me think about that. And he thought about it for about the seconds and said sure <laughs> so he gets in the kitchen with me and uh, took the the cherry pie filling recipe that mm -hmm. I had and he has really crafted it and tweaked it uh, to where it's a science wow. and it has become our number one seller really all year pie? round the cherry pie awesome. and so um, it looks great. I would like to yeah. take credit for it but I really can't so he he <laughs> really is the one to make that come to life and I, we get a lot of compliments, and, oh, and I just say, well, it's the cherry pie guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's yeah. Filling. Uh, yeah. He's also, uh, he's had a hand in uh, coming up with the name of your business, he Out did. on a Limb. Yeah. Where did you guys it's come unique. up with yeah. that? Well, yeah. we, we had to come up with the trade name so that we could, uh, you know, get registered. <laughs> and uh, as we were tossing around ideas, he said, what about Out on a Limb? And at first they thought, well, that's too long. And then I thought, you know, that makes sense because yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of our fruit, our apples and, and oh, peaches and things like yeah. that yeah. are grown on a tree. Yeah. But the term stepping out on a limb means you're taking a chance. Yeah. Taking a risk. And That's so we were taking did. a little bit of a risk, a chance, getting out there, um, getting our feet wet. So. Uh, the name seemed to make sense, kind of twofold, and it stuck, and, and people really enjoy the name. I get yeah. to tell people that story a lot. That's Very a great meaningful. story. That's yeah. a great story. Thank so obviously you. the pies are kind of the star of the show, but you also kind of dabble in a few other baked items as well? Well, uh, we try not to stray too far away from actual pie, yeah. but yeah, we do have uh, things that are not pie, like we have crisp, and okay. we we came up with crisp partly because people like that crumbled topping, yes. but also it enables us to do 
gluten free. Okay. I have not come up with a great pie recipe that I like yet for gluten free. So we do uh, crisp as gluten free, Good. and that goes over really mm -hmm. well with people who have that dietary need. Um, we also were asked, hey, can you come up with chicken pot pie? Oh, I bet that's <laughs> savory. So good. And yes, that is an actual pie. What a perfect and day for so, it. So yes, oh yeah. yes, yes, comfort food to the yes. max. Yeah. So um, we uh, got in the kitchen. Um, actually, a friend of mine who owned the kitchen at that time, he's a professionally trained chef. We came together, and together we made the chicken pot pie recipe and the beef and mushroom pot pie yeah, recipe. Yeah, sounds so good. <laughs> and uh, it's not that we invented anything new, but we just wanted yours, to make though. it better. Yeah. So we had lots of testing. We do have taste testers <laughs> out there who I uh, uh, are. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do it. Until we got a thumbs up all the way around. So we brought in the dinner line, and we have expanded both in the dessert line and the dinner line yeah. since then. Where is it that you guys do your baking out of? We use a shared commercial kitchen oh, in cool. Bettendorf, so it's a little bit off of Utica Ridge yeah. Road, mm -hmm. uh, kind of situated between Trinity Hospital and the Bettendorf Water Tower or Tanglefoot Road, or Tanglefoot Lane, I should say. Uh, so we're back there in a business park. And okay. um, so it's a production kitchen, not really a storefront. Okay. As mm -hmm. far as where we distribute, yeah. we have uh, a presence down at the Freight House Farmers Market Outdoor Market, oh, May okay. through October. We so it. we are yeah. really big there for the off season the indoor freight house farmers market is open year round oh, and so yeah. we have our take and bake frozen pies inside oh, nice. of there Good so people you. can access us pretty much any time and amazing. we were kind of talking before the show you were telling me that kind of one of the most overwhelming parts of this for for people who want to bake pies is getting the right crust, the crust. so you're going to kind of walk us through how to make a make yeah. a good pie crust yes listen if you're building a house you need a good foundation yes. yeah. same thing with a pie and it seems to be very elusive for mm -hmm. a lot of people yeah. they're afraid to even try because they think oh I'm just gonna really screw this up and yeah you might the first couple times <laughs> I've seen it be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest <laughs> it's a little bit of a hot mess for some people at first but it, it's not mess. it's really not that scary yeah. and and there's a couple of principles okay uh, for one thing really cold ingredients okay all of them need to be very cold um, and, and there's a science behind so that, too. So don't do it in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not it's ideal. If you do, you just got to work really fast. Yes. <laughs> and we have that. We have to encounter that in the middle of summer, yeah. the summer heat. So um, this is the dry mix right here. Mm -hmm. And and this is the, uh, the flour, a little bit of sugar, um, a little salt, however you want your dry mix to be. But then notice these chunks. These yeah. are the fat particles. And so we have um, a couple of different methods we can use for the the person at home, they might use a couple of knives pulled together, uh, forks, or a pastry blender. This okay. is a pastry blender, and so you just chop it like this. Mm -hmm. That's really labor intensive, especially if you have hard, cold, right. butter, lard um, in the kitchen. Since we have uh, lots and lots of this to make all at once, we <laughs> yeah. do resort to our food processor. Yeah. This is glorious. This is not cheating. I'm just going to tell you, this is not <laughs> cheating. No, no, no. It's it not. It you just don't want the the key is to not over mix it, not mm -hmm. over blend it. You want to have these small fine particles along with some that are right. maybe the size of a pea and then even some that are a little bit bigger like this one, maybe a chickpea. Yeah. Um, so again, the science, and that makes a flakier crust. Okay. okay, then you add your liquid ingredients and as you gather it together, again, taking care not to over mix it. When you get your hands involved, balling it up and then patting it out to roll it, don't handle it more than is necessary because what that does is two things. It starts to melt the fats in there. They will dissolve too quickly mm -hmm. into the mm -hmm. flour, uh, gets sticky, gets hard to handle. The other thing is the more you mix it, the more it is creating gluten. And so then it has a, an elasticity that you really don't want. It makes it very hard to handle and toughens so up the she's crust. Got all the knowledge. <laughs> this truly is a science. It is a science. It sounds like you've got it down. <laughs> if you want to get your hands yeah. on some of these pies, you can uh, visit Julie at the Freight House Farmers Market, as we mentioned, in downtown Davenport. But you can also order online on outonalimpieco.com or by calling the phone number on your screen. Uh, screen rather. Out on a Limb also has a Facebook page, so be sure to check that out with all the delicious pies. Yes. Julie, you're yes. fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so Thanks for having for me today. and enjoy the pies. We yes, we, we will. The news all will. Right. These are coming for you.